this campaign is going great. Uh, I believe I will be the next mayor of New York City, uh, and it's going to be because of each and every one of you. Um, I'm just going to retrace my steps a little bit because uh, I grew up the first generation born in this country, and my parents did not talk about politics in the house. Uh, there, there was never any like you're gonna you know run for president someday kind of talk in the Yang household. <laughs> so you should know if that's not going on in your household either. It's like very very normal. Um, I was told to get good grades. Uh, get a good job, try and find our place in this country. And it was only years into my career after I'd become a CEO and then run a nonprofit um, did I decide to run for president because I thought that this country did not understand what's happening to it. Um, that I, I believe that our economy was transforming in ways that were um, going to leave many, many people behind. I thought Trump getting elected was a sign of that. Uh, and so I decided to run for president. Um, and that journey brought me to so many parts of the country and everywhere I went, it was thrilling that Asian Americans, um, parents like myself would bring their kids to meet me, would take pictures with me. Um, and I remember vividly the first time I was on the national debate stage that I think um, Ben mentioned, one of my goals was to make that debate stage because I thought to myself, having an Asian American uh, candidate standing up to, standing next to Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders or, uh, Elizabeth Warren, I thought that would be incredibly positive and uplifting for our community. Um, but it didn't hit me until I walked off that stage and I actually saw a picture of myself on the stage <laughs> where I was like, wow, like, uh, you know, like that, like that really is a different image. Like I've never seen that before in my life. And I'm happy to say that I ended up uh, participating in seven uh, Democratic presidential debates. I was the last person of color I outlasted six senators, governors, members of Congress, our current vice president, New York City's current mayor. <laughs> like, we outlasted them all because uh, so many people like you got behind the campaign. Uh, and now I'm running for mayor of New York City. Uh, our city's in a very, very deep, dark hole. If you're in New York, you know that, um, that this is something unprecedented. Uh, we are down 27,000 lives. 700,000 jobs, 60 million tourists, 82% uh, of commuters. But beyond the economic harm, and it's been devastating for so many Asian Americans and Chinese Americans in New York City, um, has been the 94% increase in violent crimes and the 900% increase in anti-Asian uh, incidents that have been reported. Uh, just on Friday, I visited Xi'an Famous Foods, which is probably a restaurant many of you know, um, talked to the CEO, Jason Wang, um, and then I talked to his workers, and two of them had been attacked on the street simply for being Asian, uh, which is unfathomable. Um, but I spoke to one of the workers, and he described his, his experience to me where he was on the subway, made eye contact with a man, um, and then when he left the subway, the man followed him out uh, and then punched him in the face unprovoked. Um, and that was obviously a very difficult and terrifying experience for him. He couldn't go to work for several days because he was traumatized. Uh, and then uh, when he did go back to work, he was fearful of getting on a subway that wasn't filled with people. Um, and Xi'an Famous Foods started shutting down its restaurant at 8.30 quite early so that employees could leave and get home before it became too uh, uh, risky in their minds. I mean, that's what's going on in New York City right now. Uh, this is a very, very difficult time um, for everyone in New York, but I think Asian Americans uh, feel like a, a different level of alienation than we ever have, a different level of risk. Uh, and I'm going to be very, very proud to be a mayor for all New Yorkers, but I, I will be very proud to help correct some of the imbalances that we can see in New York City around the treatment of Asian Americans. First, by, uh, treat, by fully funding the Asian Hate Crimes Task Force and treating these as hate crime incidents and building connections with uh, the Asian American community so that we understand uh, how widespread this problem is, but also channeling more than 2% of city resources to Asian American community organizations, uh, where 15% of the population and 2% of the city budget goes to uh, organizations specifically for us, which is far, far lower than for any comparable community in New York City. Uh, so there are real problems with how Asian Americans um, have historically been treated in New York City, and I want to help change them.